Hey, hi folks. Oh, okay, here we are on the adventure of the 1985 Ford F-250. Kind of fix it up, get it running, maybe get it looking decent project. So, first of all, I wanted to go ahead and try and get a battery. I bought a new battery, and so we're going to get that put in. Hey folks, Dean here again. So, um, I thought I'd work on the truck some more. And I was going to get a battery, put it in, and start maybe looking at electrical systems, see if things turn on, that kind of thing. But I um, went ahead to check and see the, uh, hang on, let's see if you can see this. Now, that's, that's the fuse box right there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of empty spaces there. According to the manual... Go right here, and fortunate for me, it's broken right where I need it to be broken, and that's at the place where the fuse is. As you can see, every single one of those is supposed to have a fuse in it. So I went down to the store, got one of these mix it packs, 10 each of everything 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, all the goodies. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put those in and, and, uh, then we'll do cables and battery and see if there's any power, but figure you might uh, want to check that yourself you know, before you get getting deep into this. Oh, and by the way, I like to use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull those out. Works a lot easier than those little stupid plastic things. So, so there you go. Hey everybody, it's Dean back here with the F-250. So I want to show you, uh, you know how uh, we, uh, we were doing the uh, the fuses. So I got that all finished. Let me show you. So, uh, there you go. As you can see, hey, just uh, to let you guys know, if you built one of these, okay. So I want to point to this. Okay, that that there is your turn signal. That that's the one that you hear clicking. Now these two, I had to buy these because what I didn't know is these are special. These are like circuit breaker fuses, and 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 it was uh, I can't remember one for the door locks, one for something else, whatever. So they're special. So we've got everything in here now, and so what I decided to do, okay, let me take you around here, is I went ahead and I went and got a battery. Here she is. Um, I didn't bother showing you guys hooking it up. You can hook a battery. The only thing I don't like about this setup, and I'm going to change it. I don't know if you noticed, but we've got a red wire here and a blue wire here. Well, the thing is, is that that's, that could uh, end up meaning that you could make a mistake. Because if you think this is really the red and this is the black, that, no, that's red, that's black. This goes down to the uh, body of the engine. So I'm going to change that because I don't I don't like it like that at all. I want that to be black, that'll be red, so we can't make any mistakes. So anyway, we got that put together, right? So we got a light that came on here. That's cool, right? Because the fuses are on now, and so we got some some lights underneath here that came on, and, and over there it came on. I still don't seem to have any. So I still don't seem to have any power to the instrument panel yet or the radio any of that stuff so i don't know we'll have to keep on troubleshooting finding out now you might be thinking to yourself you know why are you messing with that how come you don't get the engine started well am i thinking and i've never done this before is that i should get the electrical stuff going because otherwise i might be chasing something on the engine when it, if it doesn't start it's really a fuse or, or something else with the wiring. So I'm figuring let's make sure some of the wiring is good and everything so that then when I do go ahead and um, I'll get out in the sun so maybe you can see me a little bit so that when I do get out there and uh, and um, start getting this thing going right uh, I got the power I need to, to do it. So that's why I'm doing this. But Hey, good news is, because we fixed that, uh, look at this. This is great. So, so here we go. Yeah, there's the door switch. 
and voila yes the door locks work Woo! you know just small victories so that's a whole system on both sides but unfortunately the windows don't work they still won't go up and down but hey so far we got door locks so if you're wondering about that kind of thing um and you're like well then you might want to definitely check your fuses and another thing i wanted to point out too because i didn't know this i discovered it and you might be wondering about this let me show you something okay i don't know if you can see but um right here where my hand is is a plastic box right it's just kind of hidden back there but what i discovered is that inside that plastic box are these bad boys yeah two relays and from what I can tell, the reading, one of them's for the fuel pump, and one of them is for, well, who knows what, actually, I don't know. I never did discover. So if you happen to know what that is for, then put it in the comment section, because I'd love to know. But I'm going to go over to the auto parts store, and I'm going to replace them. I'm going to just not even mess with testing, see if they work. I mean, it looks to me like they could be original 1985s for a light now, so... Oops, and that one probably doesn't work at all now. Um, so I'm just going to change them. I, I'm, as I go, like the fuses, I, I just replaced it all with new ones. And I replaced these ones with new ones as well. So anyway, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. But uh, regardless, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.